Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Dyn Pro App App and in the previous video, we discussed what is Web Dyn Pro App App, what is the architecture of Web Dyn Pro App App, we discussed the purpose of Web Dyn Pro App App is to develop web-based application in a app environment, yes, yes. Whatever the environment and tools are there, they are already integrated into SCAT transaction code. And your Web10 Pro app is based upon MVC model or MVC architecture. V M stands for model, V stands for view, and C stands for controller. View is your user interaction part. Model is your business logic part. And the interface between the model and the view is your controller. Whenever you will send any request, it will always, always go to the controller. Then it will pass on to the model. Same case, whenever response will be there, it is always from the model, it will pass to the controller first, then it will pass on to the view. There is a strict, there is a strict separation between the user interaction part and business logic part. Both sections have a strict separation, strict separation. Your layout designing is totally, totally separate from the business logic part. We all know view is what you will design the layout with the help of view only because view is all about text element, button, input fields. So your layout designing is completely, completely separated from the business logic part. And what is the interface between both of them? controller. Now, in this video, we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of Web Dyn Pro ABAP. As Web Dyn Pro ABAP is based upon MVC architecture, so that is itself a biggest advantage. Generally, in the interview, we ask, okay, you are saying it is based upon MVC architecture. Then what is the real advantage? What is the motto behind this MVC architecture? We will also discuss that. So what are the main advantages of Web Dime Pro app? First important advantage, which we discussed in the previous video also, it is fully integrated into a app development environment. And that is true because we will not go for any separate process. Whatever is there, it is fully integrated into a BAP workbench. We will go to SCAP transaction code and we will go for simple development of Web10 Pro components. So we will not follow any separate process. So we will simply, simply go for SCAP transaction code. If I will show you, we will simply go to SCAT transaction code, which we all know it is for object navigator. From the drop down, we will choose Web10 Pro component slash interfaces and we will start developing those Web10 Pro components. So there is no separate process. So it is fully, fully integrated into a BAP workbench we have a dedicated transaction code. That transaction code is for object navigator. We know that has other things also. We can navigate to all the objects through SCAT. But with the help of this transaction code, we will create our Web10 Pro components. Now we will go for second important point. And generally in every interview, we always, always ask this question. There is a strict separation between layout and business logic part. Just now we discussed because it is based upon MVC model. So your view 
is completely completely separated from the business logic part so what is the main main advantage an interviewer will ask you are saying it is mbc model your user interaction part is separated from the logic part then how how it is benefited because whenever you will develop the web applications you will multiple users can work parallelly how multiple users can work parallelly suppose we will develop one web 10 pro component in that web 10 pro component one person will design the layout other person will work on the logic part yes because both are completely separated suppose developing web applications using mvc architecture one developer work on a particular section suppose we are saying view view means that person will design the layout another person will work on the separate section suppose the controller and so that if multiple persons work on a application parallelly it means development will be faster suppose if i will show you in the system anyways we will learn the practical suppose this is our one web ten pro component this is your view suppose i am designing the layout i will go to change mode and i am designing the layout see we have same application same to same application and i am designing the layout another user can go for same to same application suppose if i will open another user will go to uh, go for same to same application now another user cannot work on view because if another user will work on view because i am working on view so that person will get a locking error but that person can go for component controller suppose if i will go for view whenever another user will go for view it will strictly say it is already in change mode now you can see for view i am getting a error but another user can go to component controller another user can go to change mode in the component controller and have you seen there is no error other person can work on the controller part so one application multiple users can work parallelly because your layout designing part is totally totally separate from the business logic part that's why mvc model is preferable because multiple users can work parallelly yes multiple users cannot work on to designing the same designing or cannot work on the view at the same time but they can work on other component so this is the main main advantage of mvc model and generally in interview the interviewer will always check your understanding based upon this particular answer now what is the next advantage of web 10 pro app once you develop a web 10 pro component you can use that component into another component also so reusability of web 10 pro component web 10 pro component into another component once we develop based upon the requirement we can reuse in another component also now what is the next advantage of web 10 pro app the use of declarative and graphical tools significantly reduce the implementation effort implementation effort here means our coding efforts now in web 10 pro app suppose if i will go to web 10 pro app anyways whenever practical will be there you will automatically understand we have a wizard here we have a wizard web 10 pro code wizard if we will go for this wizard suppose i am using this wizard and i am reading a particular thing suppose i am reading this so have you seen that data or code the sorry the code automatically generated so ultimately it is reducing our implementation effort every interview will ask yes 
you are saying yes it is reducing your implementation effort it is reducing your coding efforts how how then you can simply give the answer we have a web den pro code wizard and with the help of that the code will generates automatically the declarative statements this data is all about declarative statements and that will reduce our effort anyways wait for the practical you will every time we will use this wizard we will not write the logic manually we will use these wizards and it will reduce our implementation effort now the next point layout and navigation can be easily easily changed using the web 10 pro tools in the whenever we start with the practical part we will go for layout designing we will go for navigations all these things will be very very easy we can create and change using the web 10 pro tools so these we have so many other advantages also but these are the extremely extremely important advantage and the most important advantage is if you will say this advantage that multiple users can work on the different different parts of the component together that is the most most important advantage now everything if has the advantage it has disadvantage also rather than disadvantage i will simply simply use the word limitations now first limitation no mobile device support web Den pro applications whatever we will develop they are only desktop based you cannot go for running of these applications on mobile devices it does not support on mobile devices. Now, no SAP GUI support. Suppose you are developing a Web10 Pro application. So you cannot run in SAP GUI. Suppose simple example, whenever you are creating a program, you are running the program, you are creating the transaction code and you are running that program into sap gui only you are running through by running the you are running you, you are executing the program by clicking on to f8 key or you have the transaction code but here we do not have such provision whatever the web 10 pro application you will develop it will run on the web we cannot run in sap gui it is not the case that you will create a transaction code of your web Den pro application and you will pass here no whatever the web Den pro application you will develop you cannot run in sap gui it has to be run on the web now third thing third thing is no support for sap gui screens or program suppose i am saying you developed a program you cannot call that program from web 10 pro program whatever the web 10 pro application you develop suppose i developed a program z test i cannot call that program through our web 10 pro application suppose in that program suppose i developed a module pool program I have a screen. I cannot call that screen in our Web10 Pro application. So you cannot call SAP GUI program and screens in Web10 Pro using the statements call screen, leave to screen, submit. So these all statements you cannot use in Web10 Pro app. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the advantages and disadvantages of web 10 pro app what is the first advantage it is fully integrated into a app development environment why i am saying this because we there is no need for us to follow any separate process we can directly go to SCAT and we can develop a web 10 pro component second most important part your web 10 pro app is based upon mvc model so layout is totally separate from the business logic part 
so multiple users can work on different different parts of your web 10 pro component one can design the layout one can work on the component controller yes so one can work on component controller one can design the layout so this is the main main advantage of your web 10 pro app app third thing is reusability once you develop a web 10 pro component you can use in another web 10 pro component so there is no need to develop again and again fourth important thing yes we have the web 10 pro we will say we have the declarative and graphical tools which reduces our implementation effort implementation effort means there is no need to write the logic you have the wizards itself with the help of those wizards we can simply simply generate the code anyways we have so many tools i just showed you one after that whenever we will go for layout designing navigations designing layout navigation it's very easy we can change also very easily so these all are the main main advantages of web 10 pro app now everything has limitations also web 10 pro app the web 10 pro applications whatever you will develop those all are only desktop desktop based application desktop based web application no mobile device supported means you cannot run your web 10 pro applications on mobile devices second whatever the web 10 pro application you will develop you cannot run in sap gui means you cannot create a transaction code and run in sap gui or you cannot execute yes in sap gui you have to run on the api or you have to run on the web third thing whatever is your screens or programs are available in sap gui you cannot call from your web 10 pro applications means you cannot write call screen screen number sell leave to screen screen number submit this program we cannot go for all these statements in the next video we will start with our first web 10 pro component and we will go for a very very simplest requirement and we will start with the practical part so that's it in this video thank you